I wanted to be an actor when I was younger. Um, and then I wanted to be a politician, which is almost the same thing, but, um, but cre creepier. Um, and music was something that I, I liked for my life. I always, I, I, li I liked to sing and I play the guitar and stuff like that, but it wasn't like an actual calling, you know, in at, at my early ages. And so, um, Sort of a, as a backup thing that I like to do, I, I, I hooked up with a friend of mine who had the same teacher, a singing teacher at that time, and we went and we started a band, and we we, we searched for different genres that we wanted to sing or play, uh, and we ended up doing some tango because it was something that that the the like the, 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 like the, um, the performer has like a like an actual place like an actual merit for it and you can sing it it's it's like very similar to like the american songbook in jazz you know where the each performer has sort of a he, his own um adds his own personality to it or whatever so we we started doing that he wasn't from buenos aires he was from mendoza which is a, a province in argentina and i was from buenos aires but in my family I, we, we didn't hear uh we didn't listen to tango that much so um, we both uh, be became like this, this sort of duo that sang tango, but without a really uh, big compromise or reverence towards it. It was like a playful thing. So uh, it all started there. Hi, my name is Enrique Campos, and you're watching Buzz Artist Spotlight. Encontré una grieta en la pared, irradiaba historias que canto Gardel. Acerqué una mano para oír Cuando un ángel me endulzó el café I, I write poetry, I love write, writing and I love reading and I, I love words and as an actor I also love, like to perform good and rich texts, texts, um, excuse my English, I'm not, it's not my first, my, my first language. Um, and so tango has this very, like unusually complex uh, melodies, but at the same time it has a very, very uh, profound search in, in, into the words. It's, it's a very um, popular genre and it comes from from you know, like the poor old uh, working neighborhoods from, from Buenos Aires, and it has a so a, a very interesting poetry to it. So when you when you perform it and you sing about it, obviously it has to do with with love and hate and everything that we all go through. But in a way that you can sing it and and live it and 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 sort of uh, communicate it in a very profound way so that that's what attracted me to, to the songs themselves and and in Argentina and Uruguay too it's sort of a uh, Rio de la Plata which is a river that divides Argentina and Uruguay and um, in both these countries you have a lot of uh, of tango music that ha comes with lyrics so it's not just the dance for us uh, the dance is, has become like a tourist sort of thing, a very international sort of thing, and it's also developed into a different kind of thing. If you go to a place where they dance tango in Buenos Aires, you won't see all these people doing all those sort of uh, big maneuvers and stuff. It's, it's much more subtle. And, and so I'm not really into dance. I tried once and I'm not that good. <laughs> Uh, I think my music is sort of um, a punk rock queer version of some tango that somebody used to write. It was part of a process, it's, it's not, and, and that process took us a couple of years and we're still in the, in the making, of course, this is not the end of it, I hope. Uh, so we are still looking for different kind of layers and different kind of colors and different kind of situations or, or, or emotions to, to add to that kind of music, which has been sort of like played the same for a long, long, long time. So we like mixing some new sounds and, and people call them genres. I don't, I don't really care about that, you know. I, I like it like to, to know about like, like textures and colors and layers, that, that's what I like. So if you add some, I don't know, some, uh, some bass, like and instead of doing like the, the normal 
bass. I don't know how you call this big bass in, yeah, in England. Yeah, right yeah. yeah, instead of that, we do an electric bass, and, and we do it. We have some um, some drums in some parts, and we mix it with some cumbia too. And it's sort of, it's, a, it's a very natural mixture for us, but it it has become sort of a process in which we are still going forward. But what you can hear now on the on the CD is not actually what we do on uh, on our shows live. We are like evolving constantly because it's like what what we like to do is, uh, that 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 search and we hope it never ends <laughs> Y arrancan de tu boca la mentira. The record is like the the, the 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 like the mellowest thing you can hear. Uh, live we are much more like a rock band, and we have a lot of other new instruments and and new technology. There's a lot of technology that you can use in music today, and and classical genres or traditional genres like like tango, they don't use them, and we do. We like them. We like to bring that on. We want to be part of a future sound, and 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 it doesn't diminish the, the thing that we are doing tango. It actually uh, empowered it. So uh, yeah, we, live it's a very different show, and we probably the next time we 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 have a new record, the show will evolve from that record too. So it's not going. It's it's always going to be different. It, it, it's it's like a, our our challenge and our, and, our, and and what we like about it. Yeah, I really, I, it, it's really, really amazing what happened with the Grammy. We, we never even dreamed about it. It was like a, um, such a surprise. I, I almost still think that it might be an, a, a mistake, you know, I'm, I'm going to get there and, and oh, no, no, it, it wasn't you. <laughs> it was actually, it wasn't you. But well, um, I don't know. I don't know. There Maybe there's something of all these things that we've been talking about, that the different sort of angle that we get into it uh, from this sort of different uh, perspective in terms of not only of sound, how it sounds, and it sounds m much more... Uh, um, like from nowadays, from, I don't want to say modern because it's a, such a sort of strange word, but like nowadays, it's like actual music from today. We are not trying to make music like people did it in the 40s. We are doing music like people do now, like trap, like, I don't know, you name it. And we are doing it in that sense. So maybe something of that came across for, for the people that voted in the Grammys and they liked it, or maybe like our stage sort of, uh, representation or performance that has also been quite different to what people do in in tango usually so it must be like this, this sort of combo and they and they sort of I uh, called their attention I don't know <laughs> in terms of the record it was very um, easy for us because uh, as we like to play live and, and that's what we like doing the record was something that was sort of a, a, something we needed to do to get a, a broader audience and be able to do sort of this sort of thing um, and um, uh, we thought about the record in terms of like we would think about a, a live show you know it starts somewhere then you create this sort of little uh, scene in this moment then you go uh, all there uh, and then you end up in a uh, that sort of movement like like a sort of a s snake like of emotional r roller coaster so a single for me is more or less the same you, you, we, we are we are actually in in, in the process of, of recording uh, the, the first single of what would be the next uh, album that's coming out next year and the the feeling is much more the same. We try to, to create it as it was a, a, a very small show, live show. So it has everything that we want and it's like crafted in a way that it, you start listening and you want to listen to it till the end. And even when it finishes, you want to listen to it again. And it's like a roller coaster actually. I, I, that's what I like, that feeling of thrill and at the same time of being in some parts that get you. And, and also, the, the thing that you, you, may, you get so many layers into it and as much as you can and the more than you record and the more music that you do live the more you can do that the more layers you get the more rich the song gets so as every time you can listen to it it can touch you in a different way and it can get 
your emotions uh, from other, from different places. I don't know. It, it's very magical what happens in the, in in in, that, in those terms. If you are allow if you allow yourself to create that, and you have to be free of all stereotypes that have to do with tango or rock or uh, folk or I don't know. You just do what you feel like, and you write it and you sing it. Yeah, I usually now the the the, the previous record was mostly so cover songs like from the old sort of standards of of tango so we all the, like the arrangements they usually started with with piano and me uh, me as a singer and my 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 pianist that is sort of my my the musical director and we we would meet together and we would try to look about like what kind of arrangement can we do with that and and maybe the reference for the pianos and the and the bass lines of, of like uh, would be like i don't know we want this to be like a like a train you know like a train that's moving that's very heavy and it starts moving and then it goes really fast and then it splashes i don't know a watermelon that's on the i don't know those kind of images so we create that sort of sounds and those sort of movements now What, that, that I'm writing my own songs. I don't play piano, but I play the guitar. So they come in a more sort of rhythmic thing because guitar get, takes me to that places. I don't know how it goes. It, it, it will actually evolve when we get to record them with all the band. But they're going to be much more rhythm and 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 a lot of more of um, I don't know how to say percussion in English. Percussion. Per percussion. Yeah. percussion. Yeah. Like a sort of percussion like a very bass bass line and percussion is going to be very 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 present yes yeah we're actually recording the first single for the next um, album right after the grammys uh, we're looking forward to uh, releasing that like around half like a mid december before the the end of the year so we, we we're going to end up with a new stuff that's nice and uh, and after that we're going to continue Uh, releasing some new material through the first months of the next year and hopefully get the whole album around March, no, around May, okay. April, May. So until that, we're going to do some touring, but it's going to be much more like small things. And after the record's out, we'll probably get into a sort of a, a, an international tour because oh, thanks for this Grammy thing, our project has become much more international than it was before. Before it was Argentina and... and Around now we can actually come and play here in in the U.S. or in the rest on the rest of uh, Latin America. Um, so we, we were looking forward to to take all the, the all that opportunity and transform it into a reality. So you can look up for us in uh, in Spotify or and in Apple Music and Apple Music. I'm sorry. And of course we have we have a web page that's elenriquecampos.com. That's I don't know if I can you get that, but what well, El, yeah, elenriquecampos.com is my web page, and there you have like um, links to all my other social networks. The most important, the, the, the one that I use the most is Instagram. From there you can get all the information, and it's at elenriquecampos. So that that's. I don't know if it's but hope you join and be part of it. Hi, my name is Enrique Campos and you've just been buzzed. Say